The site can use user install commands for your Discord.js version 14 bot using the Discord.js features, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super god tier on YouTube or a god tier on Discord. You can also get the bot tier, which is a complete zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. And we also have three different bot packages, which are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. Topic. All of this will be in the description below and with that, let's go and get into the code. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go over into the Discord developer portal and you're going to go to the application you want to do this on. So we need to go ahead and set up an authorization link so that users can authorize a user installed bot on their account, which essentially will allow them to use your bot anywhere on Discord. So to do that, let's go over to installation and we're just going to go ahead and select user install. So essentially what this is going to do is it's going to add two different authorization links to your app's profile. It's going to be the user install, which allows the user to authorize that integration onto their specific account. And then it's going to be a guild install, which allows the user to authorize that integration onto a guild. So now that we've done that, we should be good on the developer portal. We now have our authorization link set up. So now let's go ahead and go over into our Discord and authorize a user installed app on our profile. All right, so what you're going to notice is when you click on add app there's going to be two options here you can add to a server just like usual and it's going to be try it now use this app everywhere so let's go ahead and do that and we're going to go ahead and authorize it to my account so now i have a user installed app on my account all right so now we can actually go ahead and head into the code and write some code but before we do this just remember that because the user actually has to have this authorized on their account the commands will not show up unless they authorize it so that could be a common mistake that a lot of people make when coding this they forget to authorize the bot and the commands don't show up and they get frustrated. So just make sure you do authorize the bot to your account and make sure your users are authorizing the bot to their account in order to use the user install commands. All right, so over in our code, let's go to our commands and we can go ahead and create user install.js. So within this, the first step is to just create a normal slash command. So we can do slash command builder and we're going to go ahead and do equals require. Let's go ahead and get our discord.js package. Then we can go ahead and do module that exports and we're going to go ahead and open this up. We can get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. Let's go ahead and set a name and this can just be user install testing and we can go ahead and set a description and we can do user install testing. Uh, and then let's just go ahead and do async executes. We can get our interaction and we can open this up. All right, so right now what we have is a generic Discord guild command that's going to work in any server your bot is in, but it's not gonna be a user install. So Discord.js made an update that allows you to use user installs in Discord.js. Previously, you actually had to reconfigure handler and use the Discord API in order to do this, but now it's super simple with the Discord.js update. So you can actually go ahead and open up your terminal and in this, go ahead and do mpmi discord.js. So what this is going to go ahead and do is it's going to install the latest version of discord.js uh, for you so that you actually have the update. So now that we have the updates, we're going to have a couple of new functions. So the first is going to be set contexts. So we can actually go ahead and do set context. And the second is going to be set integration types. So discord breaks up commands into two different types. It's going to be integration types and contexts. Contexts are where the command can be used. So that's either going to be a guild, the bots DMs, or a group DM or a different user's DM. And then integration types is simply just if the command is a user install command or a guild install command. So the bot needs to essentially know whether or not it's going to be a user install, a guild install. And then if we specify user install, we need to specify where we want the user install to be used. So like I said, that's either going to be in a DM or a group chat or a private channel in a server. So how this works is let's actually go ahead and start with our integration types because that's going to come first so we can just put that here and we either have zero or one so zero is going to be guild install commands and one is going to be user install commands I believe you can set both by putting both in here um, but for me because we're using user install commands I'm just going to go ahead and set one then for our context it's going to be a zero for guild, meaning the user install command can be used in any guild that the user who has the application authorized on their account is in. One for a bot DM, meaning the bot can be used in any DM that you have with your bot or another person. And then two for a private channel like a group chat. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and enable all of these because we want a global user install where we can use the bot anywhere. So it's gonna be zero, one, and two. So now essentially what we've done is we've specified that we want a user install command and we've allowed the bot to be used in DMs, group chats, and servers. So now let's actually go ahead and write out a command. Let's go ahead and do await interaction our apply and we can just say content and we can do testing. Uh, and let's go ahead and set infermal to true on this right now as well. So I just want to mention that a user install command with discord.js is going to be exactly like a guild install command. If you wanted to do any options or any string values or anything like that in your slash command builder, that will work just as it normally would. All this is doing is allowing your bot to be used in a different place. It's not actually changing the code. So for informals, they are pretty important here. It's going to be actually up to the developer whether or not the message is going to be hidden unless the message is being sent in a guild. And in that case, it's going to be up to the server admins who can change a permission within specific channels. So what that means is if you set informal to false, that means anybody can see when you run a user install command anywhere unless a specific server admin has disabled that for the channel. And I actually believe that's off by default. So that's actually pretty important when you're developing. That means if your command is supposed to be private to just the user, it's very important that you set informal to true so that not everybody can see it when you're running it in a group chat or a DM. So let's actually go ahead and save the file with all this information in mind and we can go ahead and test this out in our Discord. All right, so over in our Discord, let's go ahead and run our user install commands in a regular channel here so if we go ahead and send it it's going to go ahead and say testing all right so over in the discord let's go ahead and test this out now if i try to run our user install test it's not actually going to be here because on this account i do not have user installs authenticated on my account so let's go ahead and fix that so we can go ahead and do add app we can try it now and we can go ahead and authorize so now if we close out we should be able to now use our user install command as you can see here so now as you can see it runs in our server just like it should because we're in the server channel so now let's actually go ahead and disable the informal message because I want to show you that this is now a setting within the uh, channel settings and it's going to be hidden regardless. All right, so now let's go ahead and run this command again. And if we do user installs, as you can see, it is actually going to show it. Now, the reason is because the bot is in the server, so it's going to actually show it. But if we go to a server that the bot is not in, for example, if we ping dev toolkit, it's not going to be in here. So the bot is not in the server uh, and we go ahead and uh, try to run a bot command first of all you're going to notice that this is the only command uh, for that bot whereas if we were to use this bot here we have a bunch of different ones like i said because the bot is not in the server but we do have user installs so we can go ahead and run it and now as you can see even with informal disabled it is going to be hidden because the setting has to be turned on in order for bots to be able to send public messages using user installs. However, if we were to go ahead and try to use the bot in a different setting, like the DMs of a different bot, uh, we could go ahead and use that because it's user installs. We can use it everywhere and it is going to show up. So we can actually go ahead and now try it in a group chat. And if we go ahead and run user installs, now we can use the bot in a group chat as well, as you can see. And it is going to actually send this message publicly. So um, if I was on the account that's in this group chat, I would be able to see this message as it's sent. The only time it's going to be hidden when Infermal is disabled is when you're in a server. All right, so Infermal is back on. And if we go ahead and run it, as you can see, it is now hidden. But the point of this is you can use a Discord bot anywhere on Discord, even if it's not in a group chat or in the DMs. The bot will be on your account, meaning you can use it anywhere. And as you can see, I'm back on the other account and the message that was sent in the group chat using the bot user install command is visible to me as well. So that's just important to remember. All right, so that's how you can use user installs using discord.js's brand new updates. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.